What's up, guys? Got another awesome horror title, Horror Collection Part 44. Vic the Crowley. Finally got it, finally watched it, and it was amazing. Um, the beginning, I gotta say, the beginning is probably the second best part of this movie, besides Victor Crowley's murdering spree. Um, the mutilation of the beginning of it, of that woman, <laughs> and it's got some comedy feel to it too, because she's crying, her makeup's messed up, and she's got boogers. The way how Victor Crowley mutilated her was really awesome. If you like gory films like that, you might like this, because there's more gory stuff in this film. Uh, that Chinese guy that's was in every other one. Uh, he's a survivor. Uh, he was charged with the murders of Victor Crowley. Then he was exonerated. Wrote a book. And I just want to say, the book signing, the first woman that comes in there, that's an all right scene. Not going to say what happened because it's, that's not family friendly. But when the fat guy comes, you, I don't care if there's a child grown up old person you might want to do this because you don't want to see what you're going to see and I really wish they didn't put that in okay and then that Chinese guy could offer I don't know, a half a million dollars to make a movie or something like that and they get him on a plane with a bunch of other people uh, I guess his manager is a freaking drug addict she pulls a bunch of every pill known to man into that little whatever thing and you got some psychos, crazy mental people in the plane. And then crashing into the swamp of Victor Crowley. <laughs> yeah. And then all the killing spree starts happening. All Victor Crowley's murders are awesome. I'm going to tell you this. It's a step up from the third one. Even though the SWAT team's in this one. But it's a step up. I kind of like this one too. I mean, I like every movie in this franchise. And then when it gets to his murder, it's kind of cliche. Uh, something you kind of didn't want to expect it on that one. And another thing with that uh, Chinese guy, there's a funny moment when he's getting the flare gun. What he says, it's funny. I'm not going to say it because, again, family friendly channel, but it's funny. And then when we get to the ending, that one woman. That one girl in the first one. Let me see if I can find a cat. Her. There's a, the ending part's about her right there. And it's going to be awesome. And it kind of tells you there's going to be a, either a Victor Carly part two. Or I don't know. It kind of seems like there's going to be another one. I don't know how many years it's going to take to get that one. But it seems like there's going to be another one. Which is pretty awesome. And did I like this film? Yes, I did. I thought the film was awesome. I just didn't really care for the fat guy in the movie. Uh, Could have done without that part into this movie. <laughs> but everything else is awesome. The gore is awesome. Uh, Kane Otter as Victor Crowley in this movie is awesome. Uh, the Chinese guy, I guess, in all the other ones, he does play an awesome role in every film because I do like his parts in every film of this franchise. And... I really do like the ending. The ending was awesome. The death of Victor Crowley is probably the weakest thing into this film, but that's in my opinion. Anybody else can probably say it's different, but yeah. So, here it is, guys. Here's what you get. Here's the front. I wish they did not put that right there. That that's, it ruins the artwork right there, to be honest. Here's the plane crash, flames, that axe. Return to his swamp. <laughs> That's awarded a lot of the awards up there. Get some artwork. It ain't that newer 
disc where they got the logo right there, like going that way. The Blu-ray, it's at the bottom right there, which I like because you see more of the artwork. So that's it, guys. I hope you like this video. Please like it. Please subscribe. Check out the Twitter page. And have an awesome day, guys.